Hallelujah. Edward Snowden tries to make a deal. The NSA leaker is offering to help Brazil investigate U.S. surveillance of Brazilian citizens. In exchange, he wants asylum. Brazil's president canceled a planned trip to the U.S. in October over revelations based on documents obtained by Snowden that the U.S. had spied on Brazil. This comes one day after a big victory for the anti-spying contingent. A federal judge ruled that the NSA's domestic phone surveillance program is likely unconstitutional. Now, that ruling only applies to this single suit, and it's somewhat controversial, a somewhat com controversial suit brought in part by a pretty controversial figure, Larry Clayman. This isn't Larry Clayman's first legal crusade. Our goal here is to pry open this veneer of secrecy. And it isn't even close to the first time he sued the U.S. government. And we are now ruled, quote, unquote, by a president who bows down to Allah. Last year, he filed a lawsuit arguing that Barack Obama couldn't be president because, quote, neither Mr. Obama nor the Democratic Party of Florida nor any other group has confirmed that Mr. Obama is a natural-born citizen. Back in the 90s, Clayman filed at least 18 suits against the Clinton administration. He's also taken on former Vice President Dick Cheney, Facebook, OPEC, even his own mother. Brad Blakeman is a professor at Georgetown University and a former member of President George W. Bush's senior staff. He, too, has been sued by Clayman. I think Larry is a professional litigant. Um, he's, he's the thorn in everybody's side. He pretends that he's fighting for the little guy when it, he's really fighting for himself and his own, in my opinion, delusions of grandeur. Clayman's been at it for years. He founded the conservative government watchdog group Judicial Watch, a group, you guessed it, Clayman later sued. Yesterday's NSA ruling was a huge victory for Clayman, a victory applauded by NSA leaker Edward Snowden, who said, quote, today a secret program authorized by a secret court was, when exposed to the light of day, found to violate Americans' rights. It is the first of many, but Clayman's critics are quick to point out that this battle isn't over. He may have won a battle. He certainly has not won the war. There's a lot more to the NSA case to come in the appellate courts. This case could also reach the Supreme Court. I, I don't think Larry has the ability, uh, either intellectually or legally, um, to take this case to where it needs to go beyond the district court, my opinion. So I want to bring in Larry Clayman now, as well as uh, CNN senior legal analyst, Mr. Jeffrey Tubin. Larry, to you first. You just heard one of your former adversaries, Don. Brad Blakeman. Well, he said that, let me, let me ask a question that you can answer. He said you yeah, won sure. the battle, not the war. He doesn't think you have the intellectual or the legal ability to take this fight to the finish. Your response? Well, I would say you, to be one is to know one. Brad Blakeman, I had to sue because he used Freedom Watch's trademark. I asked him to stop. I brought a lawsuit. He's associated with Sheldon Adelson, who I'm sure you don't like, who runs the Venetian Empire in uh, Las Vegas, and he's obviously got an axe to grind on. I think it's important to note that you're a big supporter of Obama. Uh, you have favored him in every respect. You have to try to do a hit piece to diminish a very important decision. Are you talking about Larry me personally? Clayman. But you know, the, I'm talking about you personally. Uh, uh, this I don't is a think you know that. About, you. I don't think you, you can continue on, but that, none of that is true. But go on. Well, it is true, Don. I've watched you for many years. You're an ultra-leftist and you're a big supporter of Obama. And the reality is, let's talk about the NSA. Let's not talk about Larry Clayman. This victory is for the American people. It wasn't for me. And you as somebody from the left, and I've gotten more compliments from the left in the, in the last few days and even from the right, should appreciate that you don't have a police state in this country that's going to be able to intimidate Americans, to chill their free speech rights, their associational rights. The NSA has data on all of us, metadata, which deals with our personal lives. It's clearly a violation of the Fourth Amendment. But rather than talking about that, you've got to try to take out somebody who's challenged President Obama. And I'll stand by everything I've said and everything I've done. Listen, People Larry, I'm not here. Hang on, Watch Jeffrey, let me, before, je before you jump in, listen, I'm not here to get into an argument with you. Nothing you have said has been correct about me or the reason we're doing this story. So you can continue we'll to attack. Decide. Listen, le will you let me finish, please? You can continue to attack me or attack CNN or whatever you want to do, but let me just say this. The only person who decides my political leanings, whether I'm left or right, are me. 
The only people who know that for sure, the person you who know knows what, that Don, for sure, I'm not attacking is me. CNN. I'm not but, attacking CNN. But listen, I, I, I just want you to know. CNN. I want you to finish. But I am I want issue you with to you. finish. Will you let me finish, right. or I'm going to cut your mic, and, and and Jeffrey and I will finish this conversation. Well, that's so that that's is very that is for me to decide. Thank you very much, Jeff. Well, how far will this case go? Okay, uh, let me just read from from this opinion, page 39. Um, Mr. Clayman responded, "Why is he bringing this suit?" I think they, the, NR, N, the NSA, are messing with me. Then went on to explain that he and his clients had received inexplicable test messages and emails, not to mention a disk containing a spyware program. In other words, this case is based on Larry Clayman's tinfoil hat paranoia <laughs> about the uh, NSA being after him. He had some fantasy that the NSA was after him. This case is not about Larry Klayman. It's about the metadata program that affects everybody. But the idea that Larry Klayman is the representative is simply outrageous because he you know is what, a Jeffrey, professional litigant respond. and lunatic who should not be a representative of the very important issues of this case. Go ahead, Larry. You know, Jeffrey, I'm surprised to hear you say that because that is not what the case was structured on. Why don't you read the opinion and see what the judge said? rather than spending your time with me. You know, and I had differences during the Clinton administration. We certainly like did. Like Don is a big advocate of Obama, you were a big advocate of Sidney Blumenthal, who did everything he could to destroy conservatives <laughs> in the White House. Jeffrey, it's funny. Let's funny. just let him it's go. Not funny, it's, not it's not funny, Jeffrey. <laughs> you know, it's not about me, Jeffrey, and the fact that you want to try to do a hit on me shows me that you're not a serious person and, frankly, should not be doing legal commentary for CNN. Yeah. I think there are very serious issues here, but the idea that you are the representative of them is really very unfortunate because there are important issues here, and there are not, they are not obvious well, in their resolution. But, but your paranoia and fantasies about the NSA being after you are unworthy of this important case. I think Why we don't should you read the complaint. Rather than shooting your mouth off, I'm, read I'm the just complaint reading read the, the judge's opinion. decision. Obviously... Obviously, the judge didn't agree with you, Jeffrey. Read what he said, and you can find it at freedomwatchusa.org. And can we, uh, this listen. This is a disgrace. Both of we, your conducts are a disgrace. Oh, my gosh. You are, are you okay? <laughs> no, are you okay? Yeah, because this is not I about, here. you, you have come on, here, you've come you on and you made this here. about you. It's not about you, the complaint. You, you wanted to come, no, you I'm not going to argue with me. you. Thank you. Can we you get him off, please? Me. Can you please, can we please remove him from the screen? Great. You're, please you're a charter member of the, the ACLU. You believe in free speech, right? Can we please remove him from the screen, producer? Free speech. Jeffrey, Jeffrey, yeah. are you there? I'm here. Continue on. What do you well, make no, of this? I, I, I just think this case is, it's certainly going to be appealed to the D.C. Circuit. It probably will be appealed on to the United States Supreme Court. And it's a hard case. I actually disagree with the judge in this case, Richard Leon, but it is, it is clearly uh, a very respectable position that he holds. A lot of people agree with him. A lot of people are very troubled by it. It reflects technology that's very different from uh, the previous Supreme Court rulings on the subject. I don't know how this is ultimately going to come out. It is certainly a, um, a, a, a feather in the cap of Edward Snowden and of, and, and of Glenn Greenwald, who, uh, who brought this case f forward, who, who exposed the documents. Uh, I don't agree with them either, but fair's fair. This is a huge win for them. And I think these issues um, are, are going to be debated at a very high level for, for quite some time. All right, Jeffrey, and to show you, we're going to be the bigger person, bigger people here. We'll give you the last word, sir. Go ahead. Oh, last word is you're not the bigger people. Uh, don't, have it, don't kid anybody. Let anybody watch this and see that CNN removes you from the screen when it doesn't like what you think. And you know what? You're not CNN, Don, and Tubin, you're not CNN. CNN is a reputable organization, but you have not acted in a respectful way and, in fact, disgraceful. You're more like Martin this year. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you. Merry Christmas to you, Jeff. Live with it. I'll Merry Christmas soon. to you. Thank you. So and to come Mom. here tonight on CNN, more than a half billion dollars is up for grabs.